Hi everybody and welcome back to Nell and Ruth Designs. Uh, welcome. This is going to be a bird collage. So I would love to have you stick around. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. If you're not sure if my art is for you, you can go and look through my videos, see if you like them. I offer quite a bit. Um, for all my returning gals, thank you. I appreciate you more than you know. And for all of my gals over on Patreon that support me, thank you very much. Uh, I showed this book a while back. And it's Hollywood Legends Classic Portraits. And we purchased this many, many years ago for my mother-in-law as a Christmas gift. And after she passed, we took it back and um, I thought that the images in here were just fabulous and I could do some surreal art in these pages. I'm not going to tear them out. I'm going to work in the book. I hope my lighting is good for you. I really have had to try hard to get everything so you can see it yet there's no glare. Um, but these are all old Hollywood um, sets, actors and actresses, and I just think that this book would be really good for some surreal art. So I was flipping through, and I thought, ooh, I would love to use her, but not as a bird collage. So she'll be used at some point. Um... These two gals are just fabulous, um, especially this is uh, Marlene Dietrich right here. She was one of my dad's favorites. Um, let's see, look at this one. This is fabulous. I can't wait to work with her. Here we've got Frankenstein, or I should say, I guess that's Frankenstein, young Frankenstein. Got these two. That, I think that's Mickey Rooney, a young Mickey Rooney. I'm not sure. But anyway, I was flipping through and going through everything, and I thought I would use, I wanted to use her, but there's so much black, I wasn't sure if you'd be able to make her out. Here's Casablanca. I was going to start with... Um, this is a picture of Scarface, and I didn't see the old one. I saw the one with Al Pacino many, many years ago, um, and then I thought, well, no, I kind of did something like that one other time with a, a bird and the hat, so I kept going, and then I found right here, um, this is Constant Bennett, and... I just thought that this would be a great page to use. All right, so I, I chose this one. And then I got, I got looking through my birds. And I remember I used my, my large bird book. Um, and I remembered when I went through that bird mag or bird book, there was a bird that builds a nest that drops down. Um, I think I threw the little piece of way telling me what, oh, here it is. It's the Bay of Weaver. I, I threw this away, but it's, it's a bird called the Bay of Weaver and they weave their nests. And I remember I remember seeing it in there, and I thought it would be perfect. So I, I did a lot of fussy cutting. There was lots of cutting to do on this. So I did get this done. I did all my cutting off, off camera. And I want to take this, because I thought this would just be really cool to have this here where she's looking she's holding the nest up and she's looking at the bird so that is the first thing that we're going to put down oh, bunch of hair and 
there's nothing on this back page, this side here, that I really want to use. Um, and I still might be able to use her at some point. But I'm going to cut, and I was going to do this off camera as well, but I thought, no, for those that maybe are a little nervous about cutting images and trying to, you know, slide things up and, and make it look like she's actually holding on to this nest or she's got a, a grip on it. Um, I thought I would work with you and do that here. So let me see if I can lower this so you can see a little bit better. And I think I'm going to have to adjust this here. All right. So here is her hand. And I want this to slide so it looks like she's actually holding on to this. Um, her thumb is going to come down around here more so because just the... Um, the length of it and her nose. I don't want this. I want this bird just resting above. So the first thing that I would do is I'm going to have to cut this thumb. So and hopefully this, my knife is getting a little dull. And if it gets dull, sometimes it will rip the paper, but I'm just going to try here and just be really careful coming down and around in a, this fashion. And I don't know how far over I'm going to have to go. Um, and I think I do have to come around here. I'm going to have to loosen this thumb up here. And when you're working with hands and fingers, you're just going to want to take really take your time and not rush it. I knew I was just going to start this, and here comes my son for lunch. It took me all morning to cut these items out, so I'm going to step away. I'm going to go have lunch with him, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, so we have the thumb here cut, and I'm going to have to figure this out because I'm going to want this to come up where she's holding on to it here. Okay, so that's good. That actually is perfect. Um, we are going to need to cut here and we are going to need to cut right here so that will slide up through and then just up around here. So um, we are going to cut, what did I say here? Measure twice, cut once, right? Um, this. All right. And then I believe. So this is going to go here. That's going to slide there. So we have to cut up above. Let's see. I'm just going to cut this whole thing here. Her whole. I don't like the way this sounds. It sounds like it's tearing the paper. I'm going to have to change my blade after this. Okay. So now we have this. I'm going to do this slow so you can see and you understand. Okay, so that's holding on to that like that, right? 
we can reposition it after. And then I need to Let me think about this here. So if this goes here like this, she's going to have that there. Just the tip on that. We can finagle with it. We can play with that. Um, I need to cut this here so this can slide up through. And I'm only going to cut right around here. Let me do that first. And then that way, and then I have to cut, I just want to turn this towards me like this. I need to cut. Just a little bit there. All right, so now we have the cut here, which may have to cut a little bit more. We have the cut here um, because I have to feed this through, which I will try to feed this through first. I want to see if I cut, if I have it here like this. I'm going to want this here. This isn't really going to be seen at the top. So I can cut, which will feed this through better. So I'm going to take a little bit of that, okay? Then I can bend. I can get this through first. This is going to be the tricky part. So I think I am going to have to cut more of her upper hand here, okay? Because that's kind of a wide spance. So I'm going to cut, and I want, I don't, I want to cut it where, sorry about that where I can actually see her fingers here. Okay, so that's measuring up right there. Okay. All right. All right, so I think that might do it. Let me take this out. And we will get this. And like I said, I'm going to get this through first. And then it's going to come up. I want to be careful because I don't want that to break. And then I can go like this. And then I can lift this up here. I get under the first page. Her thumb can come up. This can come down. And then it looks like she's got a pretty good grip on this. And I guess I don't, yeah, I still do, I do want that up on there like that. So I think that's pretty good because we've got her thumb holding right, she's got a good grip right on this nest. Hopefully an ash doesn't fall off her cigarette and light it a fire. All right. I'm going to leave it like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to... Oh, that breeze is so nice coming through my window. I'm going to get this glued down. And 
and again, because this is staying in the book, it's I'm not worried about it getting glue on every little aspect because it's going to be in a flat. Okay, that. But isn't this fun? These surreal collages are so much fun. I love doing them with you. Now, I'm going to tell you, I didn't know what I was going to do. You know, I've been after, you know, all my medical traveling here and there. I've been kind of in a funk. Well, this, I'll tell you what, what really got me motivated this morning. Um, when I don't know what to do, and I have to look through photos, and I had to look through the bird book quite a while this morning. Once I get this on, I can raise it up again. Um, I said, I need some music. I left my computer off. Sometimes I'll put my computer on and listen to someone else craft. And, but I said, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to do that. So, because I said, I really need some good mojo here to get me started on what I want to do. So, um, I listened, and I don't know, it's an age thing, but I listened to the Traveling Wilburys. Now, I don't know if you know who the Traveling Wilburys are. They were a, a British band, what, between 80, I think 84 and 91. And it consist of, consisted of um, Tom Petty, Roy Orbison, George Harrison. Who else was in it? Um... There's a couple others I can't think right now who who was in it. I love Tom Petty. I love George Harrison. I love R Roy Orbison. So I turned the Traveling Wilburys on. I'm going to move this up. And boy, I got myself in such a happy place, state of mind, to find my images and come up, here we go, and come up with an idea. So if you're ever, <laughs> if you are ever unsure and you don't know what to do, turn some music on, get some, get some fun, funky music, whatever your mood is at the time. Um, And I've, I've got to thank those guys for figuring out, helping me figure out what I want to do this morning. So um, I have a subscription to Spotify, and I just really, 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 I love Spotify. So I figured, now this is the male, and this is the female. And the female, as you can see, is gathering the... Um, she's gathering all of the, I don't know, grasses, wheats, whatever, to build the nest. And she's bringing it to the male. So I am taking the, I am taking her, and I want to put her, I almost thought of putting her here over her mouth, which, I don't know, I'll see. Either that or I may put her right here to fly up. Um, I want to think about and figure out how I might want to do that. I might want to put it here on the curve of her chin where she would be flying up. We'll see. But I have her, so we will put her on after. And I figured because these are all different, I'm not sure what they use to build their nests. I should have looked, but it's just looks like grasses and wheats and thin rods. Um, so I have a book here. It's called Seed, Leaf, Flower, Fruit by Mary Jo Koch. And um, there was a whole section in here for grasslands, for amber and waves. So I did a bunch of cutting 
of wheat and millet and different things. And I am going to dress her. She has a sequin cap on here. And I'm going to dress her up because I think this is where the birds are getting their, um, their items from to build this nest. So we are going to dress this up a little bit. And I hope everybody is doing well. Um, and you are in a good crafty place. And things are coming to you kind of easily. Where's my... And I'm putting this one here only for the fact, let me raise it down a little bit again. I don't want to work so far away from you. I want you to be able to see. I'm putting that one there only for the fact that when I cut it, it was an, an end page. So I wanted to use that and it was already flat. And I cut these two here, and I do want to, I want to put that to round her hat. Um, but I want everything else to kind of tuck in here, so I'm going to just put this down, just tack it down a little bit. I'll put that there like that. Then I can slide some of these underneath. I don't know where I am going with these. I have four. I have this one, and I have this one. I have this one, and obviously this one here that I just showed you. This one will go this way because it's a squared end. And then I have this, which I will finish it off with. So when I do something like this, you know, her shoulder is coming up around here. So I just want to take into consideration the lengths of some of these. And the colors and the directions that I want these to go in. Okay. Um, I use this one here because this is a longer one. Now what I could do, instead of putting that right behind there, I could put some of these in the four, in the, forefront. I could take this, just follow a little line here, come up there, let's see if that works. Yeah, I can do that. That's good. So see how that will be just um, over the part of her cap there. I'll put that one there. Um, I could put that one. That might be kind of fun there. Have that come down and wisp in her hair. This black one here, the dark one. Oh, I want that one up there like that. All right, well, I know I want that one there, so I'm going to tack, we're going to tack all these down now up here. So when you know you have something where you want it and you like it, just tack it down. Um, I'm only doing the top part up here because I remember I have to put these in. So don't get too rambunctious with
Hmm. Okay, so I want this one here. Let me get this. And because this is thin paper, um, it's pretty easy to manipulate. where you might want them. It's not real thick and bulky. Okay, it's being held up on that. And then I want that. So we're going to move over here a little, and we're going to move that way. Get this one up in there. Whoop. And I want that to come down and around like that. Okay, whoops. This is the little stem here. Well, extra little stock. We'll just push that under there. And then um, I think I'll take this one. And I thought about putting that like, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put that right here like that. kind of like a flapper hat, isn't it? It's kind of what it reminds me of. And we're going to get all these down. I think this is a good example of, I think I'm going to cut that little one off here. I don't need that. It just looks out of place. We'll cut that off. Um, you know, when you, again, when you go to a book sale, oh, that reminds me, um, our town's having a book sale. I got to get over there. Maybe this afternoon I'll go over. I saw it last night when I took my boys to dinner. Um, over in Bolton, and I saw the library had a huge book sale going on, so I got to get over and look for some books. Um, you know, grab a book such as this. Now, I cut this little flower out of the seed, uh, leaf, flower, and fruit book, and I want to put that right here on her hat. Right where, and that's a nice way to cover these little stalks and stems up. Okay, so we have that, and I think what I might do on here as well. Um, I have to find it. Where are my? Oh, here we go. I have my uh, Wink of Stella brush, and maybe I'll put a little bit of gold let's see, on here just to give it a little um, sparkle. And maybe I'll do a little bit through here. I'm going to have to let this dry, of course. I won't be able to close the book straight away, but that's okay. And then I have um, a plain one, uh, which is just... It's just a plain silver 
like a, a whitish. I'll just add some sparkle to this. And hopefully you can see that. It looks really pretty. I don't know how it's coming through at your end. But I figure that Hold off of there. I don't know. Can you see that? Can you see how it sparkles a little? I don't know if you can see my. You can usually see it when the light is really on it, but it is sparkly and pretty. All right, so let's move this up a little bit. And I'm not going to go too far for now. I'm going to get, I want to get, I think I'll stand up just to see um, where, because I do want to put the female on here. Giraffes blew over. Oh, they all blew. Must be a gust of wind came through. Um, you know, I thought maybe I could also put her here coming up, which I think is kind of cool because she's coming from this area here with a, and I kind of like that where it touches this and then you've got her lip and it's extended by her eye. I could put her down a little bit further, maybe a little bit further down. I think I like her right there. So the only thing I'm going to do is I want these little bit bitty wings here. I want the feathers more defined here of her flying. So I'm just going to clip in between. That's good. Now, what did I just say? Did I say she's coming here? I got to stand up to see. Yeah, I think it's right here. I think that's good. Right there like that. Yeah, I didn't have her down. can actually clip. I'm going to clip this one just a little bit. Well, I'm just going to leave it like that. All right, so she's going to go right there. little black dot on her face there helps me. There. So there's the female getting ready to bring some more goodies up to the male to continue with the nest. Um, and I have a saying for this because when I started to put this together, um, it just, I think she's looking that in wonder. Um, and I'm going to put a piece of paper. I'm going to put a piece of paper over that so it's not so distracting. Okay. All right. Okay. So I have typed out here. Um, hmm. Now I don't know which way it goes. Um, oh, I do because of if is capitalized. So I'm going to, and I'm not going to um, distress this or anything.
And I'm going to tape this down. I got these little tape runners. And let's see, these are new. Okay, so right here. So we're going to put this little thing down. These are really sticky. This is a... I got these little tape runners at Walmart the other day. Um, they're... I didn't realize how stick they are sticky. This is... Better if you use these, you better make sure you know where you're putting your stuff down because... Okay. I think maybe just one will do. I don't need two strips. Do it all this way. There. All right, so I thought this was appropriate. Get that glue out of there. All right, if you enjoy living, it is not difficult to keep the sense of wonder. And I think that she is just looking at this bird. Let me raise it up a little bit more. And this nest. And she is just in a sense of wonder as to how they make this nest. Which I'm always, I'm so curious. And I'm always in a state of wonder how these birds build these absolutely beautiful nests around my property. And, um... I think this is fun. I think it came out really, really good. Um, I had an idea. I just thought about it, figured it out, took my time. And again, I was really blessed to be able to create this for everyone um, and give you a new idea what you could do with surreal collage art. So I want to thank everybody for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and this collage. I want everyone to have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.